Clark and Lay, the two men doing battle in the ruck against the Crows thrusting forward. Crow was ready and waiting, still might get his chance. That's Morgan, who played a couple of senior games for Port last year. Chance to set the Crows up for their third. Comes in board, Ronnie Burns, always exciting. Thought about dashing through, gave the handball away, sold his teammate into trouble. No free to kick. And Jared, you Bassett's the man, couldn't take the mark for the ball. Burgoyne gathers for Port. He'll relieve. He's got numbers on, and it's Stevens with a handball up at the top now. The uh, uh, power have got a chance to set up here through Morgan. Came in board. It was sloppy. It's a turnover. Bassett gave to Goodwin. Goodwin running with it. Inside 50 gives it off. McLeod steadies at 45. Still a chance. Bassett running out of room. And it was hit and hope stuff. James collaborating with Nick Stevens. Poor kick. Real calamity that one for Port because it gives the Crows a chance. Put out of position that time from the side. Burton at the back. Couldn't take it. Rutten was there as well. Wanganeen mopping up. And the power through Stevens. Just getting their way out of trouble. Cochrane with Beatles haircut. Boards every opportunity to show his fitness and ability around the midfield. Well, Bassett worked so hard for that. He wasn't able to take them up. It's interesting that Corns has played in the midfield for a couple of quarters in a couple of theirs. King back was Morgan. Punch lands Ronnie Burns with a chance. Laddams, they're raffling it. Sold smart into trouble. Keep the handball going. Corns wrapped up. Play going nowhere. That's some of the performances so far. And it's showing up on the scoreboard. James has been one of Port's best. Plenty around the ball. The Crows are swarming in numbers. Didn't have a left foot, but he found his man, did he? Not quite. Oh, Burgoyne was given the 360 treatment, Stevens, and they've just been able to ease the pressure. This is Cochran, hemmed in against the line. He was snooking, he just got some help. Nick Stevens kept on running for him. Somewhat laconic kick, Ackland. Wanganeen helps out. As Dean Brogan starts the second quarter in the ruck for Port, Stevens with the first. Decisive possession, oh, smart. For the spillage. Hart and now Goodwin. Cleaning up. Oh, Ronnie just didn't quite get a handle on it. Wanganeen, back to Stevens. Schofield. As the power try and sort themselves out. Byron Pickett, who's had virtually no impact. Crowell with the job on him for the night. Stevens again. And the ball up. Two, they're at each other again. Fred Rowe. Moment to save it for Steve Salopek and Port fans have certainly found voice. Here they come again, but the kick, it was chopped off by Burton. Oh, it was cleaned up by Corns. It was a strong play. Corns went and got him behind. That's terrible news, but the point is, my understanding is, and it is difficult to get information from Port Adelaide, my understanding is that it is a dislocated knee. He's done it before, and it may be two, three, possibly four weeks. Certainly not what we thought initially, which I guess is good news. Absolutely. Some relief, and boy, the fortunes of... Port Adelaide and Mark Williams have turned around in the last five minutes. It's an onslaught at the moment, and you wouldn't know that it's February here at Amy Stadium. They are throwing themselves in. Bodies going in left, right, and centre. We're warming up. Gallagher coming on at the bottom of the screen, number 21 for Adelaide. He's replaced Englein, so maybe going on to Franco. Might have been a free. It was advanced pay. Stevens takes it gleefully, goes searching. Trying to get Burgoyne. Corns is lurking as well. He's taking marks. He's great stuff. 44 to 37. Frenetic start to the season for both Port. Look at the bodies just throwing in. <laughs> oh. No free kick. Schofield. Stevens. Port building. Corns is coming out. Smart with him. Great releasing handball. Selapek. He got two. Nigel Smart, bring the pressure on Smart. Stevens with an excellent handball from the throw in. James on the left foot, trying to keep it in, couldn't. Brown and uh, full credit to Brogan for that. There's Lay doing some rock work. Nick Stevens from outside 50 sets it up. Port the score would level it and the goal would put them in front. Pack forms in the goal square. Wanganeen. Backwards, steady the ship to Stevens, who came out to Schofield. Still trouble. Steven corralled to the boundary. He'd be pretty happy to see this go over. Got a bad bounce in the end. It stayed in. Matna gathers to Goodwin. 
Goodwin sets the ball up. He might be just getting a touch frustrated. Poulton across goal where he has Stevens Ooh. almost run down. Not a great kick. Wanganeen has some time and some space. Chips out wide. Port with a chance to... No well in that second term. Have another crack at it. Well, numbers here with Port, but the footy favouring Laddams, whose awareness was pretty good. He just couldn't get away, though. Just short. New man on the ground is Riley for the Adelaide Crows. Number 33, a very talented pacey wingman. Who the Crows have got high hopes for. He was drafted fairly highly a couple of years ago. This is Nick Stevens, though, with the footy right now, who came into the game, as did most of his teammates, in the second quarter. Good courage. And the Adelaide defence standing up at Brogan, standing in the... The power have been sensational since quarter time. James chasing the loose ball. Gathers. Burns wrapped him up. Could have been holding the ball. Could play on was the call. Stevens now charging through the middle. Chance to set something up, but Hart will drift back. It's Bassett. Bassett there. Bassett had played the first half at full forward. They've moved. Pass though, into the goal square. Burton pushing, shoving. Stevens is rutting actually in there for the Crows, but Stevens handballs. A oh, bit of a fumble there. Fulton went to ground. Ball up the most likely result. Snap on the kick forward there by Burton. Will it bounce well for the Crows? Not quite. Ronnie Burns overran it. Stevens went and got it. Did the hard work. Corns fighting also in there. The power. Not prepared level, so Corns no doubt would be saying to his mate, thanks for setting that one up for me. Clark got the tap, working hard as Stevens. He did really well, well got it to Franco, might have been grabbed without it. Not paid. Schofield drives the power forward, leading the chase for the ball, Burgoyne. He sat off it, Salapek with a handball, missed his target, sold Stevens into trouble. Holding the man. Holding the man. Well, Salapek just came the interchange bench and uh, he's replaced Brogan. Stevens will kick this inside 50. It's almost inside 50. He set up Schofield, crosses the paint at 50, lines it up, in short, intent to take it was Bow. Didn't get there. Edwards almost through. Great tackle by Burgoyne. Stopped him in his tracks. Stevens rebounding. Pickett clever out wide. Holton kicks Mother. He can play at both ends of the ground. Any pretty touch in the pre-season, got plenty on that. Well done from Rutt, guided it for Bo, who is a great athlete, and he'll still be running as the night goes on. Amazing, Clark palming with purpose, Goodwin, Tawny, suddenly the Crows are going. Lanham's, who's been great. Here we go, will this be a niner? Trail by one point. Been a really good contest this quarter, Tyson Edwards and Sean Burgoyne. There's two balls on the ground here. So, 20 seconds remaining. Edwards getting some treatment for a thigh injury. Nick Stevens. I wonder if there's time for Port. There certainly is if they're direct. But we saw in the second half of last year. Looks like they're going to run out of time. A little labour intensive. Unless Nick Stevens can get one from there or they get a mark. Siren sounded. Siren definitely sounded. The men in orange heard it. Last quarter from Amy Stadium. Brogan and Clark who have done battle for much of the night since quarter time. It's been an enthralling battle. Cochrane may have caught one. A major injury, a big mark, a big goal. But nothing right at the moment. Franco on the bottom of the pack. Just carry that on, Robert, too, with Brogan and with the free kick. He certainly stands his ground. He's prepared to take the knocks. Got a couple there as we saw. Good delivery. Schofield. Another her fine season last year. So it's a Port Adelaide free. That is one of the new rules. Stevens. Clever sidestep because it opens things up through the middle. King just lets a carrier up to full forward. John Cock with a spoil. Left it behind. Matt Matt. On in Schofield. He waste no time. The kick was ordinary. Great diving spoil. Super spoil. Stevens didn't like it. Ordinary noise coming from this crowd of 25,000 at Amy Stadium. Six points the difference for each kick given out. Locked out to the Crows. The give and go. The crowd's away. With Port Adelaide, Brogan and Bishop combining. And they are away through Nick Stevens. Again, not much on for him. Lades well up the ground. 
one-on-one -on -one contest. Lay, Hart tried to work off him. Smart, Hart. The old time is James just outside 50. The handball put Franco inside. There was nothing doing. Stevens working hard. Also there is Riley. He gets the clearing kick for the Crows. Bouncing forward, cut off. Lay was strong. Juju on the wrong side. The crowd wanted nine. They might get it from Nick Stevens instead. It's a good kick. Just needed a bounce. Oh, just brushes him aside. Too easy for Byron. Shared a bit of a look Nick Stevens. Into the square. Guided it to Bergwijn. Great football by Port Power. The thing about that, Anthony, though. The game. Well, it's going to happen, you would think, in one of the games. Very aggressive. Too aggressive. Stevens down. And wins the free kick. Nick Stevens defender. Just getting him a fraction high. All the players are ahead of him here, so it's a vacant forward line. If there is a turnover, that'll be the last thing on his mind. He goes for Corns against Smart, right there with Ipka CC. Straight to the boundary line, and it's been...